Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are at the Pocono Raceway here in Pennsylvania and we are doing a tour of a motorhome behind us, but it's not just any motorhome. It's Izzy and MJ for Endless RV. Hi everyone. Hey. Thank you guys so much for being oh, here with yeah, us awesome. today. Sure. And we are actually camping here at the Pocono Raceway. Um, they invited us along, so thanks so much for having we us. Hope you're having a good time. Yes. Yeah, yeah, it's, been, it's a been a blast. Yeah, and guys, you'll see our vlog on NASCAR, the whole NASCAR thing coming out. And I do want to give you guys a huge thanks publicly because they set this up and um, like this has been a once in a lifetime experience. It yeah. was really awesome. So awesome. I can't thank you guys enough. Awesome. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, we're really excited because we haven't even seen your guys' motorhome yet. So this is going to be our first impression of it. And we're really excited. So tell us what motorhome you guys have if people don't already know. So we have a 2019 Lumar Bay Star 3626. It's 36 feet, 11 inches. Yep. Four slides. 24,000 K chassis is right before they all went to the 26, but yep. we got a couple upgrades in here that it makes it unique. Uh, I think the color makes it really nice. And yeah, yeah, okay, yeah we went with the, the darker exterior with the lighter interior, so it's a nice contrast. Yeah. Nice, well, well, we're excited to see it. I know you guys did some upgrades too. Yes, so we can talk about that. <laughs> and then also, um, we'll probably tell everybody about your channel. They probably already know who you are, but if they don't, we'll kind we of never fill them know. In. Yeah. <laughs> Cool, so we're gonna start obviously on the outside and just looking at it, this paint job, you talked about it earlier. I love this paint job, it looks so good. So of course, full body paint on the outside. Nice huge windshield. And we have our, our Magna Shade up there, which we cool. love. We're not sponsored by Magna Shade, but we yeah. love our Magna Shade. So right up here, there's already upgrades. We upgraded to LED um, yep. headlights, because nice. they're pretty bad from Newmar. Okay. Uh, LED, but they're, they're really, on the way up here, it was pitch dark, and we were like lighting up yes. the road. Yeah, oh, really? Awesome. Yeah. That's cool. Is that magnet shade pretty easy to put up there? Super yeah. easy. You just yeah. like with a pole, and you pull it off. Oh, cool! But yeah. it keeps it really cool inside. Oh yeah. Hot days. So do That's you have to awesome. put magnets behind it? Is yeah, that how it works? Yeah. Inside. Inside. Okay, inside. I see. Yeah. 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 And nice. then it comes with a pole, and you just kind of pull it it's out. Super uh, easy to really use. Cool. So what year is it again? 2019. 19. Yeah. So it is on the V10 with the older F53 chassis. Um, 22 and a half inch tires. Now, your suspension is awesome in here. Yes. You want to talk about that? So, uh, we've had the opportunity to work with Liquid Spring Smart Suspension, which we've had this over a year now. Yeah. So, anybody knows the F53 chassis, especially prior to the new V8, right. the suspension was pretty bad. Like, I remember when we pulled this out from RV1 and we were coming home, I'm like, wow, this is bad. It was pretty scary. We yeah. did all the bolt on upgrades, it helped. Then, Liquid Spring reached out to us. They put a, we were actually the first coach with the four corner suspension oh, in nice. the country. Wow. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Like, you guys have driven like Oh, yeah. Yeah. You can drive like this. Yeah. With with tractor trailers no flying by you. It's yes, amazing. There's nothing yeah. like yeah. it. It's the best suspension for a gas motorhome, best suspension ever. Yeah. yeah. I would have never felt comfortable driving it, but that time I tried it out, yeah. I'm like, I could do this. It's just like you're driving a pickup. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. It doesn't tire you out. Right. Exactly. Fairly smooth. Cool. Coming along the side, anything specific you want to? Touch one out here. Well, we uh, we threw a ring doorbell on there. Okay. We, we've done a video on that, but that was just like a little upgrade we did. Yeah. Uh, okay. Then we have well, we have our our battery system. Yeah. So we'll talk, that was that was a nice big upgrade that we did. Okay. So we upgraded to um, six 100 amp hour battleborne okay. batteries. And you have the aluminum flame light doors. Yeah, it's all yep. aluminum. That was one of the big reasons we went with Numar. Heavy insulation inside. I'll pull these out in a tray. So you can see That's we upgraded, nice. it came with four 12 volt batteries from the right. factory, two inverters, but you really couldn't run much. Right. You had to kick the generator on it, you wanted to run the microwave and other things. Now with these batteries, and if you look over here, the inverter. we have the Victron 3000 multi nice. bucks too. Now we can run everything, including one air conditioner wow. that we can run on a full charge uh, about five hours. Wow. So crazy. it's been great, like over here at NASCAR, we charge up, like we're charging up right now. And then before we go to bed, we cut everything off. We set our thermostat in the morning, it's 80%. Yeah. I mean, it's, yeah. it's really, crazy. it's pretty it's awesome. It's kind of changed how we're able to camp, yeah. which is- Are you guys doing more dry yeah. camping now? Yeah, we're doing a lot more harvest hosts now and, and you know, things like this, which- Here at NASCAR, We used to be yeah. worried, you know, we were we have the generator dry. on so much more. Yep. Now so. the only limiting factor is water, really. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Energy is not, because yeah. we have the generator, and it charges up, again, with the lithium, once you kick that generator on, even we're down to like 10%, it's charged within a couple hours. It's right. Yeah. I assume you added this in. Did you have um, yeah. side view cameras there? So you added a second right. set? Yeah, so there's another company that reached out to us early in our, our YouTube yeah. career, uh, Halo View. 
So if we don't really use this per se for like lane, it says okay. see it's kind of far back. We'll yeah, yeah. But it's good for great for security, right? So we oh, have yeah. one up front on the plate and then one on each side. I can flip the cameras on inside and kind of see everything around nice. us. Nice. Okay, cool. And then did you do something here with the awning? It looks like yeah, so you added on. What, what, as you can see, there's a lot of companies that reach out to us. This is actually a really small independent country, country company. <laughs> uh, they're called Save On. They reached out to us and have really cool products. And it is a really cool product because you see the wind is kicking up, but it is. our awning is not. So these are rated up to 25 miles an hour. Wow. And the pole stops it from going down. And then the cord here stops it from going up. Okay. So you just you don't have to worry about it. That it's is pretty nice. awesome. Yeah. It's and it, it's, once you unhook that, you just unscrew them. I mean, it's literally like a five minute setup right now. Super nice. easy, nothing complicated. This is all stock back here. I love your paint color too. Yeah, yeah, we do too. The only problem with it is that it shows the dirt, right. which is Don't why it? we wash it yeah. Yeah. constantly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's actually a little dirty right now, but we, we wash this like twice a month. Oh, wow. Yeah. And you do it yourself? We do yeah. it ourselves, nice. DIY water, and water. So, I mean, they have some storage. storage. There's a lot of crap in here right now. But that's a uh, wine guard wiring antenna. The internet was really bad. We put that up. Try to get a little bit nice. Better. Okay. So this is the second five on the fresh. It's 45 40. on each uh, black and gray. Very nice. So this is the Truma Aqua Go. Oh, nice. Oh, cool. endless, endless hot water. This is one of my. That was off electric and gas, right? No, this yeah. is just propane. Oh, yeah, just, just propane. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We put this in about oh, like two years ago, right? Oh, that hurts. Three years ago. Three, oh, wow, yeah. three years. This is one of our first upgrades. Yeah. So I'm going. telling you. I mean, there's all different brands, you know, Gerard and all the different ones, but this is like, I don't think I could live without this. Well, it's first world problems, but. <laughs> when we got Truma, there weren't many out there. Yeah. And the ones that were out there weren't very good. There's been some more that hit the market, but this has been flawless. And if you see the cover, we had it painted at a body shop to nice. match. So it looks real stock. And I yes. think this is actually standard or an option now. In the I'm many. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. We just got, not the Truma brand, but we just got like Lippert's brand. Yeah, yeah. Furion. Furion and stuff. Oh, yeah. I don't know how those work. I don't know. I mean, you will be able to speak to Yeah, it. it's working good. That's we really awesome. like it. And I see you got the map here with all the states you've been oh, to. Oh, yeah. Well, you can see where nice. the East based. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so we'll try to <laughs> fill that out. Upon retirement in three and a half, uh, less than, well, three years or so, then we'll start adding yeah. more. Now, where's your favorite like area that you've camped in before? That we've been? Yeah. I don't know. Well, Georgia we liked. Alabama was beautiful. Alabama awesome was beautiful. Savannah was nice. Oh, I love Savannah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There are a lot of places. I know, it's really hard to pick it one. It is, but we want to get out west. We just, with Izzy's work right now. It's hard. Yeah, but we will. Yeah, that's yeah. a trek to go out there. Yeah. I do yeah. want to point out something that's pretty awesome. I, I see it on the coach over there, I believe. We're in the grass in the infield here. And you know, when you're leveling jacks on the metal, you can push in. We have a, the RV snap pads. That was a, yeah. another one of the immediate upgrades we got when we didn't even have a YouTube channel. We have put those on and now we've had them for over three years. Hello. Hi. You didn't ring the bell. Oh, uh, I know, man. Welcome uh, to our humble abode. <laughs> <laughs> crib. Oh, it's really nice in here. I know, really bright. It's nice and cool. Yeah. Yeah, so let me close this behind yep. you. Yeah. So Keep one of the AC reasons in. why we chose Numar big reason was for the heavy insulation, right? So Numar has both uh, like that residential, like that fiberglass yeah. plus the foam. So it's pretty hot out right now. We have the it air, is. it's nice and cool in here. Yeah. And there's only two ACs in here. And not only in talks, talking of temperature, but noise too. So it's very well insulated that we don't really hear a lot Outside. I noticed that when you come in, it almost sounds like soundproof. Yeah, too. not as much as a Prevo, but you know, <laughs> right. it, it's good. It's really good. Well, I'm loving the colors in here, like very light and bright. Yes, yeah, that's what we like. So well, I remember when we first walked on this, as soon as I saw this, like, I love this. <laughs> yeah, this is a new Morris. Cool they do this on a lot. It's just beautiful. All yeah. the, the cabinetry, you know, is, is always well made on Numar. That's one thing they're really known for. So real quick, before we take the whole tour, let's actually turn around and show you guys the chassis area. Cause this yeah. is looking really comfortable. Mm -hmm. This is like your command station with all your YouTube equipment and sort cameras of. and everything. Yeah, we, we cleaned it up a little <laughs> bit. This is a lot of bags and computers around here. But if you remember, I told you about those cameras. So you can yes. see, I have the camera set up. We have three. So you have, you know, your driver's side, passenger side, and the front plate. And if I want yeah. to bring up the rear camera, I can just, you know, turn everything right. on the cameras there. So that's pretty cool. So all your auto leveling, there's your um, 
liquid spring right there. And then chassis or the dashboard and everything right there. Nice comfortable seat, right? Is it Newmar? Yeah, oh, this seat's really nice. Yeah, I mean, with the liquid spring, you want to be going down the road for a long time. Yeah. Like, we don't really get fatigued yeah. going cool. down the road. Like, we've done what we really shouldn't do, but we've done 10 hour plus days, 500 yeah. miles. Yeah. I'm just and, gonna... you know, we switch off and it works out really well. I just wanted to mention this too before we move out of here is is our micro yes. air. So this is our thermostat. Oh, okay. So this was another upgrade that we did. Oh, nice. Um, you know, which we can work from our phone and things, which is great. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Like she said, it's a smart app. You can control it. You can set uh, temperature warnings on and off. You can have it timed, whatever. Up there is our internet connection. Okay. Um, that's a custom router that we have. It's just, just for this coach and then there's an antenna on top. There's and we have our camera. Cooling fan, oh, it gets cool. really hot with to keep it cool. Yes, yeah, so we have our nest cam. So if the dogs are here, we're able to see yes. everything. That's the like cameras everywhere. That's yes. the most I've found. Like I'm, I'm a little bit more weary leaving them in the RV than I am at home. Yeah. So we have like yeah. a little Furbo camera we put Right, on, right. But so I've, coming in here, so this is what, a trifold? Is this jacket or this is a, This is a trifold. Okay, nice. And we, we actually just switched these out this year. These are Thomas Payne. Um, we got these from Lippert, and uh, we had a smaller love seat here and then a couch here. So here's our Stand up. very Stand tall up son. Jason. Okay? <laughs> we had no choice. When we got the RV, Jason was about yeah. here. He just sprouted and, about Right, and he <laughs> fit on that couch no problem. He couldn't even sleep I, last season. So, so if I tried to lay here, my feet would be yeah. all the way out. Right. <laughs> so we got we got theater seats, and then we got the trifold for him. So now, I mean, his feet hang off, but yeah. at least he's more he's, comfortable yeah, than he better. can fit. Yeah. yeah. Do you like sleeping on that? It's, more, it's way more comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. So these are great upgrades. Yeah. Cool. And then that looks like you got a televator over here. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. And I do love like all these like little like sconces. Like it feels yeah. really residential. It, it does. And we added little, you know, plants and clocks, just a little, yeah. you know, here and there. Yeah. To, but uh, yeah, Newmark does a nice job with making it feel home. Yeah. Um, for yeah. sure. And again, we're not full timers. So like, you know, it looks lived in, but not really. Because when we go home, like, we kind of clean everything out. Okay. Yeah, we don't leave too much stuff on here, but it's very comfortable for the three of us. It's perfect. Yeah. yeah. I know we're over the three of me, Will and Matt are over in his motor home and I am being over here. So like, I think you need to upgrade to a class A. So. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So over so here, then, we have this like desk dinette combo kind of thing going on. Yeah, this is great. So we couldn't decide if we wanted a booth or not. We had a booth in our travel trailer yeah, before. And right, it's even <laughs> like that. So we have this, we have extra chairs. So Jason sits out here. But it's good, you know, we can use it as kind of an office space as well. There's a lot of storage. So what's cool about this table, this is kind of like a Newmar thing. So we have the extra leaf underneath. So right now it's, it's small and, you know, it'll go and kind of be flush with the slide, but we just pull it out oh, cool. and drop the leaf right oh, in there. Nice. We have two other chairs under the bed, which we don't really use that much. Uh, if you had people over. Right. Exactly, yeah. the extra storage. And then the other cool thing over here is that it's set up kind of like if you want a computer, you can set up your right, computer here. Nice. Then you can route the wires. Oops, okay, I just went down there. The that's your game. <laughs> but you have some extra storage in here, which is uh, which is really nice. And do you guys find yourself like working here a lot? Do you yeah. eat here a lot too? Yeah. Or well, it depends on the weather. I mean, we will try to be outside as much as possible. Yeah. But we do work. I work run my business from the road, and we have YouTube, so we do sit here a lot and yeah. work. Yeah, usually there's going to be one laptop here, one laptop here. You know, he's got his, so there's a lot going on. That's why internet's like so critical for us. Yeah. Uh, for a lot of people, it's just critical. Even our TV is running off the internet, so we really need a good connection. Yeah, yeah. And tell us real quick about your channel. Like, what kind of videos do you guys make? So we do a wide variety of videos, RV based. So we'll do RV tours, RV product reviews. We do all a lot of our travels. We travel all different places, so we document those. RV news. We do a lot of RV news updates. Things yeah, like that. DIY. So mm -hmm. you know, we actually are vlogging a video about a kind of an electrical issue we've been having. That's going to be coming out because a lot of people they have problems on the road. And like, like we're finding right now, it's hard to get answers. And like, we know that we're not the only people it happen yeah. to, so mm -hmm. why not document it? And if it happens like, to somebody on the road, it might be number one, save them time. And number two, probably save them a lot of money. Yeah. If yeah. Right. Hour down so we put it out what they're looking for. And we have a pretty active channel. So we post a minimum of three times a week. So we have wow. three main days that we post. Yeah. And a lot of times we'll put extra yeah. videos out because we just, like we have a lot to talk out. about. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, I feel like you guys are just known for like truly creating a lot of like helpful content for our We viewers. try to. I mean, we ran and keeping we, it real. We yeah. kind of ran out of the DIY stuff because we did we so did much on yeah. here. But 
again, things always come up and uh, you know, there's always news and we don't have a tie to the RV industry. So we kind of say what we want to say. Right. I think people like our channel because it is very honest. We don't, we're from Jersey, so we don't hold back <laughs> and we're going to be honest about things sometimes to a fault, but you know, I think our subscribers really trust us. So uh, yeah. Also, we'll, we'll make sure to link their channel down below too. So you can check their channel out when you're done this video. And then behind where Will is right now, we have the kitchen area. So can you guys tell us a little bit about what we got going on here? So we have Are there dishes thing? in there? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a there's a pineapple. pineapple. I forgot to cut my pineapple. That's what it smells. I guarantee that's what oh, smells. Oh, I already smell it. Like, Because oh, I'm Lord. like, why? what smells in here? I'm like, is there a dead rat in here? I was like, where's my other pineapple? I just put it in there when we were driving. Oh my God. Anyway. I'll put this outside. Okay. <laughs> We're real. This is real. <laughs> All right. So yes, yeah, so a double sink, and then we have our stove here. We got a three burner Ooh, cooktop like there. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay. I like how that just folds back. Okay. Yeah. We actually prefer that to like the electric. Yeah, we do like this. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's just it's easy to cook, and it's one, two, three. I yep. Mean, the other one's a lot. We have electric at home because we don't have natural gas, and, and it's easy like to clean. It. But this is much easier mm -hmm. to cook on. The, I've, sure. I've had electric when we first got married, and then our house now has gas, and I love it. Yeah. Like, it just like I everything. It easier. heats up yeah. quick. And um, yeah, I found the same, like the high end motor homes, you'll see they do the induction yeah. a lot. And I'm like, yeah. I don't really, I don't think I'd want that. Some I see are actually now doing both. They'll have like yes. one, one, yeah. burn, you yeah. know, yeah. one burner That's and then, cool. you know, so. Um, then we have a, here's our microwave. This is a convection oven, which we didn't think we would like, but we do love it. Cool. So that cooks really well. I got a ton of storage space. Yeah. Then right next tons to of you, and will, and you, yeah, you'll see over here, we have like this hutch, which we, this is where we keep like, a lot of our paper products and things like that you know cleaning a lot, of, a lot of paper towel yeah one one thing that attracted us to newmar when we were looking at other brands is that like the the woodwork is really nice yeah they do a really good job like mm -hmm. i mean you can see some of the finishes but everything is like pretty just clean solid. yeah versus like some others you see, you see like holes and staples Stay, yeah, and we, just, yeah. we weren't like yeah, into really that which is you know and again it's three years plus and right. everything still looks really good yeah. so mm -hmm. far so and then we got the ducted AC too, which is right. nice. So thing, when we're yeah. closed, when the slides are in, we're still, we're not blocking any, we're still getting that airflow. Yeah, and it keeps good. everything quiet versus having like that square. You know, yeah, and everything yeah. Is, right. Is yeah, the AC's running, it's really quiet. It's very quiet, yep. Cool. All right, so then we have our Whirlpool residential fridge. This is actually a new one. The other one crapped out after, <laughs> what, like a year? Yeah, right after the one year warranty, the compressor oh, yeah. went out. Yeah. So we replaced this ourselves. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. A lot yeah. of a lot of f bombs and uh, <laughs> it's getting weird. this out and oh man, it's like on a track in there. So like to get it out without like I had this all without taped off. And, I had like drag things like yeah. It was kind of it was a nightmare. Okay, you have to support the weight like the whole yeah, way out. Right? Yeah. Well, getting it as it, putting it in, you have to get it in that track. So oh. like, you don't want to yeah, hit the woodwork, angle, you know? Yeah. yeah. yeah they got a little pantry and there. Yep. Yeah. A lot of shelves and nice yeah do you find that you guys like are comfortable with the uh, storage in here oh yeah we don't yeah. use it all really yeah you know? that's yeah. how we are in our fifth wheel like we have cabinets that are just empty yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah people always worry everything. so much about storage and unless you're like full timing right i, I think if you have kids there's like, tons of kids, storage you know, exactly we have a lot of toys yeah, and stuff right. maybe but yeah, yeah. If you were full time it the only still. storage i would like more and obviously it's, it's a gas chest is not possible is i would love full past yeah. Yeah. Right? yeah right but inside like this is a really good size for us yeah all right so let's move on down okay. all right actually let's switch places okay. so you okay. can we're gonna go in the bathroom next so this is where so the coach you know we have a nice big living space up there but then you give it up somewhere else so in the bathroom it's a lot smaller okay so the shower is pretty small Check that um out. we're gonna have oh my god this is a prime poop position <laughs> <Ding. laughs> <laughs> we'll go stand in that shower <laughs> Matthew! Oh, yeah, that's going to be a tight one for Will. Is I was it? In there, I, was in there, sure. I was in there for 15 minutes. <laughs> Is it nice and cool in there? No. You, know you, you guys have, can start with the bathroom you, first. You know you have your own bathroom you could go to. I know. This is a great shower. What are you talking about? It's good for you? Yes. Well, the height is good, but it's, I don't know, it's, it's, it's a little narrow. More just for the size of the motorhome. <laughs> no, this is great. This definitely passes. Ding! <laughs> good. Good, good, nice. good. Yeah, so you can see it's smaller, but I mean, yeah, it's still like it's a lot doable. of storage. Yeah, right, sure, right. yeah. I'd rather have that space elsewhere. Yeah. I do want to show you guys a kind of a thing that Newmar was known for. I know they still do it. And the story was this was done for like one of, I don't know if it was Malin Miller or not. 
Um, he did it for his grandkids, but let's show you. So you see, I mean, you have the cabinets, whatever, then you have the storage down uh -huh. here, but you have extra, this oh. is like a step. Oh, right? oh, that's it's cool. cool. So if you pull this out, you got a step and then they throw some storage in there. Oh, cool. That's awesome. So that's kind of cool. That's yeah, actually really nice. nice. Winnebago probably didn't continue that tradition. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, it's a good one. Uh, you want to show them this over here? Sure. So then in here, we have, this is a storage closet. It is prepped for wash and dryer, which we did not get. If we were full time, we probably yeah. would, but we use it as a closet and as you can see, storage. Nice. There's tools, spare in parts there. in there. So you never know. Right. <laughs> Very nice. And then into the bedroom. So All we right. have a nice slider behind us. Which oh, one, I like that. Which we upgraded and added a little hook. <laughs> I don't know why they don't make these with a lock. Right, I, I, I've never understood it's that so either. Weird. Ours is the same way. So yeah, ours is, we want to put like a little magnet on ours. You could, maybe? yeah. That'll work too. Cause I don't even need it to lock, but just like, if we're not perfectly level, it'll like, right. start, it won't right. even close Oh, it right. doesn't lock? Yeah. yeah. Okay, all right. Well, it does when when you keep it open, there's like there's a, a, a little it. bungee thing. Like a thing. Yeah, yeah, that keeps okay. it, but like when you close it, if you're not level, it'll just like uh, open up again. Yeah, yeah, this one, it'll lock in each position, but you know, there's no like lock on it. Yeah. This is a really spacious bedroom. Like, there's a lot of space at the end it's of the bed. It's because you have double sides in here. Right. Oh, right, right. So you've got a king size bed. Yeah. Again, a lot of storage. Mm -hmm. And again, these lights, you know, are continued yeah, through so the whole coach. Nice TV um, and so then that storage. In there. Nice. There. A lot of window, you know. There are a bunch of windows. Yeah, show that window. Look I like the back okay. window. Yeah. I know. It's, it's, it's big. Nice. Uh, yeah, that is nice and big. And then under the bed, we have. Storage. Yeah, this is where we keep, where we you know, keep the chairs other and... stuff, some extra plumbing we have in there, and nice. chairs. Cool. And we throw that in the dash when we're parked so it doesn't burn up the dash. Now, yeah. if, if you, anybody watches our channel, they'll know one thing in this room that we, well, that Izzy hates. The oh, carpet? Yeah. The carpet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Izzy is not a carpet fan. I don't mind it, but... Especially like this old, like... The Shagadelic. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't mind if it was like the, you know, like the ones the Infinity Weave. That yeah. would be really good. Maybe we'll do that. Right. It's like this pros and cons because like if if it's like if there is dirt on the floor, you don't feel right. Yeah. You don't know? right. see it. The dirt's there and you oh, don't see it. Right. Oh, I see it twice a year. Right. hundred percent. Yeah. Like, no, no, Izzy's not letting dirt with get dogs by. dogs and stuff. Yeah, yeah. No, right. Absolutely. I just like it because it feels nice on bare feet. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like in every relationship, like there's always like one person that likes carpet and one person oh, that right, doesn't. Right. Yeah, no, he despises like, it. On House Hunters, it's like always opposite. Yeah, yeah. He hates it so much that I am willing to give up my... Yeah. Well, you have the carpet in here. Yeah, but, um, but I'm saying, even if you wanted to get rid of this, I would support you. It because would look you so hate much it better. so much. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Izzy and FJ, well, thank you so much for giving us a tour of your motor yeah, home. Our yeah, pleasure. Thanks for having us. Yeah, yeah, we really enjoyed getting to see it for the first time. And like we said earlier, we're here at the Pocono Raceway. We're camping like right behind us here. And um, so we're actually about to head over for the Cup Series race, which should be exciting. Yeah. And so we're going to walk over there. But thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.